Hello, my name is Wayne Elias and I'm Director of Software Development at Stillwater's Revival Books. In this video series, I will present a collection of tutorials on the SWRB Knowledge Base, the companion search and research study software application for the SWRB Puritan Hard Drive. In this tutorial video, I will demonstrate the basic browsing functionality provided by the Knowledge Base application. All of the resources on the Puritan hard drive are directly accessible through the Finder on the Mac or Windows Explorer on Windows PCs. However, given the fact that there are more than 12,500 files comprising the Puritan hard drive collection, we are confident that you will find the Knowledge Base an invaluable and irreplaceable tool for locating, accessing, and most importantly, organizing the resources you're interested in. Embedded in the knowledge base is a wealth of information about these resources, which cannot be obtained from any other single source, information that can be displayed in mere seconds on even low-end computer equipment. At the heart of the knowledge base application is a powerful search engine that in response to search data you provide it will generate an initial set of search results. This initial set could contain dozens, hundreds, or even thousands of resources. Using this set as a base, you can then enter additional search criteria to expand the set or drill down into it, eliminating some of the resources in order to find the exact resources you're interested in. One of the principal goals we sought to achieve in the design of the Knowledge Base application was to provide a flexible and easy to use interface, one that can accommodate a wide spectrum of user requirements and experience from the novice to the power user. For those of you who initially would like to be able to just browse through the resources without at first using the search functionality, we have provided three views of the resources based on media type. PDF for books and article resources, MP3s for audio sermons, audio books and lectures, and WMV MP4s for video sermons and lectures. These are accessible from the top level menu. I'll click on the view menu option and from the drop down menu select books and articles PDF list. Here we see a scrollable list of all 2,128 PDF resources on the Puritan hard drive. We can sort this list A to Z and Z to A by title or by author. So A to Z, Z to A by title, or A to Z, Z to A by author. We can also sort the number of pages in the PDF using the pages header here from lowest to highest or highest to lowest. Each row in the list refers to one PDF resource, and we can obtain a wealth of information displayed in a relatively compact space. From here, we can click on the resource cover and bring up the resource details screen and view a great deal of information about the resource. And we can also launch the default PDF reader to actually access the PDF resource by merely clicking on the Open Resource button. If we wanted to, we could also access this resource without bringing up the Resource Details screen directly from the scrollable list, and we can do so by just clicking on the green check mark. We can go ahead and close these readers and also the resource screen and the detail screen. In addition to the browsing views, we have predefined in the knowledge base more than 330 PDF sets. The sets consist of both multi-volume works, such as the 22-volume set of the complete works of Thomas Manton, and what we call the SWRB sets, collection of distinct works by a particular author such as the 36 PDF resource set of Robert Louis Dabney. We can browse these lists by going to the top level menu, clicking on PDF sets, and then display PDF resource sets. 
Here we have a scrollable list of 333 sets, sorted by author's last name. If we click on the title, we open another window with a scrollable list of all the works in the selected set. And we can scroll down to, oh, let's say, the works of James Bannerman. Click on the title, and here we get a scrollable list of those works, um, the five works. And these are the works that we looked at before. And again, we can access it by clicking on the green check mark and bringing up the default PDF reader. And we'll go ahead and close the reader window and the PDF resource set window as well. And the resource sets window. While these browsing views and predefined sets are useful for getting a quick look at all the resources on the Puritan hard drive, organized by media type, it's likely that you will utilize the search functionality in most of your work with the knowledge base and the thousands of resources in the Puritan hard drive collection. In the next video, we will explore in considerable depth the powerful search functionality of the SWRB knowledge base application. We will see how we can create an initial search result set with a multiple field search query and then either extend those sets with additional queries or constrain, that is narrow, and drill down into those result sets to focus on the exact resources for which we are searching. Thanks for watching and I look forward to speaking with you next time.